So far in Series 3, I have used Wu Chen only a few times, and every time I used it, it was on a stall team. I was pairing up with Glamora, poisoning Pokemon, lead cheating Pokemon, and just stalling out the battle. But in today's video, we are rocking out with Wu Chen yet again, but this time with growth. And on top of that, we have Sunny Day Murkrow to make the growth boost your stats double time. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But I've been seeing a few growth Wo Chen teams throughout the rank ladder, and they are definitely very, very strong. If you can set up some growths, you get that uh, special attack boost. And then on top of that, you can start Giga Draining, do more damage getting more HP back, and pretty much just surviving for a lot longer. This Pokemon also has leftovers to give it HP back at the end of every single turn. So, again, getting that growth set up gives you pretty much a free stream of HP recovery, making Wochen absolutely dominate. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Murkrow in that top left corner. And Murkrow has been a staple in the rank ladder ever since Series 1. It's got Prankster, it has Evo Light, Rock and Tailwind for speed control, Foul Play to do some nice damage on some physical attackers. Then we got Sunny Day to make that Wochen's growth actually get double stat boost. And on top of that, we get Protosynthesis pop on all of our Paradox Pokemon. Finally, we have Icy Wind for Speed Control. More Speed Control on Murkrow. You gotta love it. Great Tusk is gonna be our second Pokemon, and I love this Great Tusk build. Choice Scarf on it, makes it outspeed most, makes it do some big time damage with Headlong Rush and Close Combat. You really can't go wrong with it. Its final two moves are gonna be Rock Slide and Ice Spitter. Wochan's gonna be our third Pokemon, the star of the show, with the Tablets of Ruin to lower attack all across the field, and then Leftovers as the item. We got Giga Drain, like we already mentioned, Snarl for special attack drops, Growth for the stat boost, and then Protect for our final move. We got Fluttermane yet again in this Series 3 video. Fluttermane has just been top tier, why not use it again? It's got Protosynthesis, the choice specs to make it do as much damage as it possibly can, Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Psy Shock, and Shadow Ball for its 4 moves. In 5th slot, we got Old Reliable, my boy Arcanine, you really can't go wrong with this guy. It has Intimidate, the Safety Goggles, Flare Blitz, Will-O-Wisp, Morning Sun, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Shadow Tag Gothitelle. And Shadow Tag Gothitelle is just amazing for going up against Palafin teams, especially if they lead Palafin and they're trying to swap it. Bringing in Gothitelle forces them to not be able to swap it, and then you can just tackle it on from there. It has Psychic, it has Thunder Wave, it has Taunt, and Fake Out. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this growth Wo Chen team. First match coming at you guys, going up against an Annihilate and Palafin team that also has Mousehold because you know Annihilate Mousehold is absolutely amazing. Then the Rock and Arcanine and Amoongus and Fluttermane. Forgot to mention, good old Fluttermane we're going up against yet again. How should I play this one? How should I lead it? I do like Wo Shen. I always like Wo Chen. He's just a great Pokemon all around, especially when they have a bunch of physical attackers. Pokemon that I gotta watch out for is going to be Fluttermane. And on top of that, gotta watch out for the, uh, what is that Pokemon called? The Mousehold and Annihilate. But I feel like this is going to be great. Bunch of physical attackers. If he wants to intimidate me, I have a great Terror type here as well to protect me from fire and fairy moves. So Poison is going to be beautiful. So we might have to try to slide. So I'm going to go into Wo Chen. And then second slot, I could go into Gothitelle just to fake out turn one and kind of get after it, right? That's not bad. I do have Murkrow. And I don't think Murkrow's rocking Haze, though. I do not think you're rocking Haze. But I would still like to play you here. You no, know, I am going to go Murkrow and Wo Chen. I just think it's a solid lead for us. I definitely feel like it's a solid lead. So I'm going to go them two. I am going to bring Fluttermane in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go Arcanine or do I go with the Choice Scarf Great Tusk? Options, options, options. I'm going to go in with the Tusk. Tusk is always solid here, especially with the Choice Scarf. It can outspeed most and pretty much clean up a lot of Pokemon in the back end. But let's see who he leads and hopefully we can get things started here with maybe a growth setup and get our stats boosted. Because if they go into physical attackers, that's going to be wonderful. It's going to be beautiful. Because then it's pretty much a free growth. I might not even have to tailwind. I might just sunny day and then grow so I get the plus two. And this is not bad. It's not bad. I don't mind this. I don't mind this with my boy on the field. So I'm definitely going to terrestrialize. I'm 100% going to terrestrialize my uh, Wu Chen. I'm not dealing with like Rage Fist and all that stuff coming out here. So I am going to terrestrialize. I am going to growth. Yeah, I think I'm going to growth here. And do I set up the sunny day? I think sunny day could be the play. We could foul play instead. But I like the sunny day. I'd rather go plus two right here. I would definitely rather go plus two. And the reason I'm terrestrializing is I'm not, I do not feel like taking a, a drain punch from an Eye It's just a problem. It's just a problem. And I think Palafin's gonna swap, so this should be like a free growth setup. Plus, Wo Chen drops physical attack of all Pokemon on the field. So this can be a pretty good, uh, pretty good start for us. Because they're not gonna do any crazy damage. Then Murkrow can just slowly get after it. Maybe set up a Tailwind next turn. Kind of start thriving from, from there. 
but I really like growth here because plus two on attack and special attack. We only need a special attack, but still, it can really get us rolling. It can really get us rolling. And then we can start Giga Draining on top of that. And Giga Drain will allow us to get that HP back. And at the same time, we're hitting harder with the plus two special attack boost. So I terrestrialize my boy right here. Going straight poison. They're gonna swap Pally. Pally does not swap, which is a little odd. Definitely a little odd. We go into this and he goes for a wave crash. That is really odd. That is really odd. So we get off the sunny day and that actually neglects the water damage there, which is big time. Drain Punch gonna fly into there and th that's why it was a great terror for us. So we pretty much just get a free growth this turn. So I growth up. Um, I really don't want him to haze me. So I might just Giga Drain. That Palfin slot. And we'll see because we know Palfin's Rock Haze, but I want to see your speed real quick. Because can I outspeed you? Yes, with a Tailwind. So I'm going to Tailwind and Giga Drain that slot just in case he wants to go into a Haze, right? It would just be a problem. So I'm going to Giga Drain and I'm going to Tailwind. He ends up swapping it. It's fine. Let's see who you go into. Arcanine potentially. Maybe. Hopefully not. We'll see. It is going to be Arcanine. Okay, I'll deal with that now. It's fine. It's not a big deal. You're going to intimidate my special attacker. I'm cool with that. Tailwind comes out and about. We get some speed on our side, which I really, really like. The speed's going to boost us up here. Giga Drain's going to fly here. Damage is bad. I mean, damage is bad, especially up against Arcanine. I don't mind that. And then you're probably going to take out my Mercury, right? No, you opt to go for a bulk up. So he bulks up. I mean, I'm special attacking. I'm just going to start targeting down that Annihilate now. And from here... Hmm. From here... I could just foul play and start chunking up damage on you because I don't want to icy when and give that thing a defined boost. So foul play is gonna be my play. I might even terrestrialize the uh, annihilate here. We'll see what he wants to do here. I mean, physical attack drops stat or the, the physical attack stat is dropped right now. So I think we're just sitting here pretty good, and that's probably gonna be a fire terror type, which I don't like at all. These Giga Drains aren't doing aren't doing as much as I want it to be. Oh no, you're gonna terrestrialize Arcanine. Into grass. I'm I'm cool with that. I don't mind it. That's a grass terror. That's an odd choice to terrestrialize into. I'm a little confused on that, but it'd be like that. Mercury gets off some nice damage. He's gonna citrus berry up. We are gonna hit into the annihilate. Its defense boost is going to do nothing. And I am I am a little confused. That's a nice damage. We like that damage right there. He's gonna opt to go for a flare blitz into you. And oh wow, that hurts. He double down to Wo Chen. Oh, you get the burn. Get out of my face with that. We're gonna hope that he doesn't double down to Wo Chen. And he doesn't. Cool. I can deal with that all day. Because now from here, a foul play KOs and a Giga Drain KOs. And we outspeed. And E Speed's not gonna KO me. E Speed's definitely not gonna KO me. So the burn's gonna neglect our uh our uh leftovers. So that's fine. Actually, will Giga Drain KO? That thing got back a lot of HP. It might not. It might not, but Foul Play definitely will, so I do like that. So from here, I'm just gonna Giga Drain again, try to get back as much HP as I can, and Foul Play should KO. Actually, I don't know, the Citrus Spray gave it a lot of HP back. So Foul Play's flying here. It does not, it hurts the soul. Giga Drain's gonna give us back a ton of HP, and we get a crit, and we pick up the KO onto Annihilate, and it's big time. This is why we like this growth, Wo Chen here. It's just getting work done. And he probably goes for another Flare Blitz. He's going to try to take out my Wo Chen. Wo Chen's going to be able to soak. And he's going to KO to recoil damage. So, yo, Wo Chen. Growth to Wo Chen's doing some work. Wow, that put me down to 22. So, obviously, I feel like he brings out Palfin here. Right? And he just jet punches me down. I mean, that would be the smart play. Right? Palfin's definitely coming out here. But I have two very good Pokemon as back end. Right? I have two very good back end Pokemon. And that Flare Blitz is doing so much damage due to that sunny day. So much damage. A little bit too much damage. Hmm. We'll see who their final Pokemon is. Because we only seen the Palafin. So Palafin's going to come out here. And it's going to be Flutter Flutter. Man. Um, I have my Choice Spec Pokemon. Or my Choice Scarf Pokemon in the back end. Which is going to be good. But still, Jet Punch is scary. It's terrifying. So how many turns do we have left? And Protosynthesis is going to pop from. Speed's going to be heightened. Do we still have Tailwind? We do. I would... Hmm... This sucks. I could protect you. Could protect you. I could go. Mm. I really want to try to get an icy wind off, right? I mean, sunny day ends, so their protosynthesis is gonna be gone after. So I guess I'll go for a Giga Drain and I'll go for an icy wind. 
So we'll try to get this off. Jet Punch is going to fly here. Is Murkrow faster than Fluttermane? Because this could be a nice little Icy Wind for us, right? This could be a pretty solid Icy Wind for us. And no, it's not. It is not. We don't have Terra. They don't have Terra. I'm I'm a little scared here, right? I mean, my booster energy is going to help us, help us out here tremendously. But the Jet Punch is just so rough. It is so rough, because I'm hoping that my my Great Tusk can eat up a Jet Punch, right? We need it to. But at that point, we can really rip in and do some damage. And why did I think I was Booster Energy with uh, this Pokemon? I don't know why I thought it was. All right, so Booster Energy is all for them. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. That's why I would have loved to get off that AC. That minus one speed drop would have been ridiculously huge. But now it comes down to a 2v2. Pretty much full HP, even matchup. Um... This is your speed. You are definitely not faster than that flutter, man. Which hurts. Which hurts. We don't have Terra. We need you to pretty much eat up a shot, right? You're 191. Can this thing eat up a jet punch? I don't know if it can. But what move do I go into? What move do I go into? Because you're going to die to the gleam afterwards, right? And who do you target down here? That's a real question. I feel like you have to target down you, right? Your first turn priority -ing. And you don't have Terra, so I'm just going to go into a Shadow Ball in this slot. Let's see how this one plays out here. Jet Punch is going to fly here into Flutter Mean. That's a little odd. And he's going to Gleam up. Okay. And that KOs me. Okay. Never mind. We stood no chance here. They just outsped us like crazy. Wow, what a first match. I feel like we got uh, Wo Chan out there really, really well. Dominated with that. But once that went out, their back-end Pokemon just dominated us. Flutter Mean and Palafin there. It was game over. Second match coming at you guys. We came this close to winning that last match. First match was awesome. We had Murkrow and Wu Chen out there, and they were looking pretty good early on in the beginning, but then that Palafin and that Flutamine really tore us up in the back end. Let's grab ourselves a win here. We're going up against an old school team, a real old school team. In DD and Arm Rouge. Haven't seen that in a while. Definitely haven't seen that in a while. They all are also rocking the Tatsugiri and Dantozo combo. Then they got Fake Out Iron Hands and Brute Bonnet. Okay, so again. The Psychic Surge is a problem. I could actually Ice Spinner that, which I really, really like. So I am going to lead the Tusk. I am definitely going to lead Tusk. And then on top of that, I could go into Fluttermane. I mean, Fluttermane's not bad. We have two choice spec Pokemon, which is very, very powerful. We're not two, two choice specs, two choice Pokemon. One Scarf, one Specs. But do I want to do that? I could just lead you. Hmm. I could definitely lead you, but eh, I don't really like that. I really don't like that. I'm going to go into Tusk. And do I go maybe Murkrow with some dark moves? I can get down with some dark moves, Murkrow. I like both of them. And then we're going to go Wo Chen and Fluttermane. Really do like that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. But yeah, obviously back in series two, Arm Rouge and DD was hands down. Like by far the best team to use. By far the best team to use. But haven't really seen it here in series three. This is actually one of the first times I am seeing it. So if we get the rip into it and just... uh. Just make this match easy for us. But Don Dozo Tatsugiri come out for the lead. I, you never see that on the lead. That's fine. I can't haze, which kind of sucks. I wish I had haze at this point. But I might just sunny day. I just might sunny day. Do I sunny day? I might. Just a pop photosynthesis. That is terrible. I, why don't I have haze? Haze is just the ish, yo. This is a perfect time. Like, haze would have been a perfect turn one for us. But we don't have it. We simply don't have it. I could go close combat. Steel Terra. I'm going to go close combat. I'm looking to do as much damage as I possibly can. And do I Sunny Day on top of that? Or do I just Foul Play? I'm looking to just Foul Play, to be honest with you. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can. Close combat coming out here. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. A crit. <laughs> what a way to get this started. <laughs> a crit comes out. He goes for the order up. Can you eat that merch? You can. This Foul Play should KO. This Foul Play should KO. You get an attack boost again. Foul play. Take him out. You do not. But you outspeed. So I can set up a... I can set up a free sunny day. Because close combat should KO that. Oh my god. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Close combat. Sunny day coming out here. Just so I can uh, pop the protosynthesis and all that. And then we can tail win next turn. Oh my lord. That crit with the close combat turn one. Ridiculously good. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. And the Choice Scarf allowing us to outspeed. See you later, Don Dozo. See you later. So Tatsugiri's going to come out here. It's not going to do anything right now. It could be Choice Scarf, so it could start to outspeed me. But it's not going to outspeed my Tusk. So I'm going to set up a Tailwind. 
Tusk is definitely gonna get off another turn. Good old Tusky, baby. Yo, a crit on that Todd Dizzle. That was huge. That was ridiculously huge. Armor is gonna be the next Pokemon that comes out here. Yes, I am gonna set up the Tailwind. I am scared of the fire moves, though. But close combat gonna come out here. I'm gonna pop it into the Tatsugiri slot. And I'm just gonna Tailwind across the board. I would like to I would like to foul play, but I need to set up the Tailwind because chances are Murkrow's gonna drop out here. Close combat's gonna fly here. Please don't tell me you are Scarf or Sashed, and you are Sashed. A lovely little Sash. I was kind of hoping it was Scarfed at that point. But he Sashes up. He's going to pick up the easy double KO. I think that's totally fine because now we have Tailwind set up for our back end Pokemon. And he ends up missing my Murkrow. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wow, that actually KO'd. Was that a crit? No, even through the sun. Even through the sun, it did some big time damage. Uh, my defense was dropped like crazy. Expanded Force comes out here, and it does not affect my Murkrow. So my Murkrow gets another turn. It gets another turn. It does get another turn. Um, do I growth here? Because I'm thinking of just terrasalizing. Actually, I'm just going to terrasalize and snarl. There's no need to growth. Snarl and then just foul play in this slot. Snarl will get rid of the, uh... Get rid of the, uh, Tatsugiri. And then Snarl can also do some big time damage on the arm moves. On top of that foul play. I can get down with that. And then we get a special attack drop, too. Yo, that first turn just set me up for victory, right? That crit on the Dime Dozo. Love to see it. Love to see it. Let's see how this one plays. Oh, you terrestrializing? Get out of my face with that. No bueno. No bueno. No good. That's definitely no good. Let's see what type you're going to do. You're going straight dark. Luckily, we are going to be able to snarl, start dropping that special attack. And then we kind of just go from there. But Tatsugiri ends up protecting. I think you're going into an armor cannon into my... Into my Wu Chen, which is a little bit of a problem. But if I can get the Snarl off first, that could be nice for us, which I do. The Snarl is going to fly. We're going to keep dropping special attack. And once we take out Tatsugiri, this armorage cannot swap. Which is going to be good because I have Fluttermane in the back end. Fluttermane against Dark types, Night Night. Plus, you're dropping your defense, aren't you? Did some nice damage, but not enough. Not enough. Good old defense drop now. Oh, I like where we're sitting. Mercury's thriving. Murkrow's just, look at little Murkrow just flapping its wings. Wochan's gonna get some leftovers HP. I'm just gonna snarl again. And from here, I could swap, but there's no point, right? I just keep foul playing. <laughs> I mean, swapping's really not gonna do anything for me. I'd rather not bring out the Fluttermane here, because if I, if I bring out the Fluttermane and just have it take free damage, there's no point in that. I might as well just keep attacking this Armourouge and uh, wait for my boy to die. And he ends up hard swapping. He ends up hard swapping the into Iron Hands. Okay, so Foul Play can do some nice damage here. No, not really. But Snarl's gonna come out here, finish off the Tatsugiri, and get a special attack shot on the Iron Hands. Okay, I really like Flutter Mane in the back end. Choice specking uh, Dazzling Gleam. That's gonna be real nice for us, so I get down with that. I might just protect Wojen here. Oh, I could growth. I could definitely growth. We'll see what they want to go into. So Armour is going to come back out here. Um, I'm probably just going to protect Blue Chen. Probably my best bet. How many turns left in Tailwind for us? We have one. Protecting Blue Chen is going to be my play. And from here, there's Icy Wind, I guess. Might as well. Might as well drop a little bit of Icy Wind action. So I'm going to protect. I'm going to waste out the last turns of the Sun and the last turn of Tailwind. But still, Icy Wind's going to come out here. And Iron Hand dodges it. It's no big deal. He's slow enough. And he has no first turn priority. And we get the speed drop over onto the armors. Wild Charge now flies. I'm fine with that. And again, I just bring out Fluttermane. This match is wraps. This match is wraps. Because I know Fluttermane's going to take out Armourouge, no problem with one shot. I'm not sure about the uh, the Iron Hands, but Armourouge, no problem. It's going. Right? It's going. It is see you later. It's done. It's just done for. So we end up dropping a nice protect there. Now we get to bring out the one and only Fluttermane and clean up this match. So match number two is definitely going to us. There's no way we lose this match unless... I'm trying to think of like, is there any way we could possibly lose this match? I don't think there is. I really don't think there is. But I'm just going to Giga Drain into you and just Dazz and Gleam across the board. Lovely little Dazz and Gleam. I know our opponent was thinking it was just like, yo, I can win this match as long as Fluttermane doesn't come out here. And here comes Fluttermane. Out comes Fluttermane to ruin our opponent's day. 
when I say the same thing, I'm like, please don't let it be this Pokemon. And then you, you, every, every time it's it's the Pokemon you don't want to see. So we'll see what they want to go into here. Dazzle Gleam should finish off Arm Rouge. Yeah, it does not finish off Iron Hands, but Giga Drain should be able to do some nice damage. And on top of that, we'll be able to take it out next turn. Because he has no double hitting moves that are going to KO us both. I don't even think he can KO one of us. But Giga Drain comes out here. Nice little HP recovery. We'd love to see it. And what are you going for? A wild charge? You're probably going for a wild charge. Yep. And you're going to just KO yourself with the recoil damage. And we soak. Did he die to recoil? I think he survived on like a few. But yeah, like I said, match number two. It's too easy. It's too easy. We're going to take this dub. We'll take this dub. We'll Giga Drain again. We'll stick with it as and gleam. Our opponent probably can't spell. No, he does not. He lets my flutter main take out his iron hands. And there it is. One and one for today's video. Wish we were two and oh, considering we played pretty solid in match number one. But we're going to hop into a third and look for that two and one winning record. Look what we got here in match number three. We're going up against pretty much an all ice team, except for an eye leap sneaking its way in there. But we're definitely going into a Murko. We got to set the sun. We have to set the sun. So Murkrow is going to be our first Pokemon. Arcanine is going to be phenomenal here. First of all, it can intimidate a lot. I actually don't want to lead Arcanine. Because if they lead Annihilate, that's a problem. It's a problem. It's definitely a problem. So I'm going to go Murkrow here. I might lead Wo Chen. Actually, I don't know. Going into Ice Type Pokemon with Wo Chen could be a little bit of a problem. But I'm kind of down because I can always Terrastalize and kind of get after it that way. I can pop the sun. I could Growth. I could do a lot. I could definitely do a lot. Um, hmm. I could go Tusk turn one. I mean, I kind of like Tusk. I do like Tusk, especially if I'm popping the sunny day. We're going to go Tusk. We're going to bring uh, Arcanine. And do I even bring Wochen? Do I even bring Wochen? Because I'm thinking of just bringing Fluttermane here, right? Huh. Hmm. How many physical attackers do they have? They have Sea Titan. They got Vax Caliber. They got Annihilate. And the other three are special attacking. Hmm do I want to do here? What does Jeans want to do here? Because we have a bunch of grass beans. Grass isn't really going to do too much. Um, Nah, I'm with Fluttermane in this match. I am with Fluttermane. Wo Chen, we got to showcase in match number one and a little bit in match number two. So I'm cool with not bringing it in here in match number three. It's just it's just not not as good as Fluttermane. Like, <laughs> Fluttermane is Fluttermane. I say this every video. Fluttermane is Fluttermane, and you can't do anything about it. Let's see who they end up leading. I'm hoping they just lead a bomb soon, so you just pop the sun, kind of get rid of it that way, and go from there. I think they have to, right? Yeah. A bomb comes out here. Sorry, man. Sunny Day Murkrow getting after it. Sunny Day Murkrow gonna do you dirty. And I might just pop a Rock Slide here. I feel like Rock Slide has to be my play. Sunny Day coming out here. Rock Slide's gotta be my choice, correct? It's gotta be my choice. Up against the Ice Team. It's gotta be my choice. I know it's not Stab, but still. Sunny Day comes out here. We say, Ayo, hey, you're Snow. It's not allowed here. It's not allowed here. Your snow is just simply not allowed here. My attack's gonna get heightened from that. And my rock slide is gonna miss somebody. Who's it missing? Obama, so it hits the frost ball though. And it KOs the frost ball. Get on out of here. Get it on out of here. Frost ball is gone. Please go for a roar veil. No, you go for a blizzard, which is uh which is dodged by the tusk. Murko's gonna take some damage. I could set up a tailwind now. He might swap the Obama so. And I might swap the Murko. That could be my play. Do I swap the Murko? I think Annihilate's gonna come out here. I have a weird feeling Annihilate's about to, about to poke its head out here. No, it's gonna be Glaceon. I feel like we have to sw I feel like we have to swap to Murkrow. I think we need Murkrow for later. I'm gonna swap Murkrow into Arky Arc. And then I am just going to keep pop my rock slides. And the reason I want to swap to Murkrow is because I think he swaps to Snow for later usage here. Yep, there it is. And now I'm just gonna swap my Murkrow, predicting that just so I can have Murkrow for the later. For the for the back end. But he's going to go into Bax Calibur. And now, if Bax Calibur is not clear amulet, it's going to be minus one. That could be huge. That could be big time. Let's see. Are you not clear amulet? You are not. We like that a lot. We like that a lot. We don't mind that at all. Now, Rock Slide flies. Are we killing Glaceon here? No, Glaceon's a little bit bulkier. Glaceon gets the flinch. Wow, this match is too easy. This is too easy. Now, I'm just going to flare with you. Actually, I think you're going to swap back into, uh, I think you're going to swap back into what's called here, Obama Snow. But still, at this point, this match pretty much wraps, right? This one's wraps. We, we've just been reading our opponent this game. We read him leading the Obama Snow. We read him swapping the Obama Snow. We got this one on wraps. I wouldn't be surprised to see the opponent cancel the battle right now either. Come on, man. This is too easy. This is just too easy. <laughs> Hmm. 
That's too easy. So he ends up withdrawing the back's caliber. We're flare blitzing in that slot, so Obama Snow's dead. Glaceon's gonna be able to survive from the defensive boost from the snow. But still, this is just this is just rats, man. This is just rats. My protosynthesis is gone. Rock slide's gonna connect still. Feels some nice damage on the Glaceon. Like I said, it's surviving. But Flare Blitz gonna take out Obama Snow all day. Four times super effective. Get on out of here. Now we still have Murkrow to set the sun if we need it. So let's see what Glaceon ends up doing. It flinches again. Oh my lord. I'm, I apologize. I apologize for the flinches. You're gonna lose this battle regardless of those flinches, but still, I apologize. The game's not even giving you a chance. Not even giving you a chance. That's what hurts the most. Not losing, just when you don't have the chance to do it. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Give me a chance. I don't care if I lose. Just let me, let me throw a few attacks out there. But yeah, we were winning this match regardless of those flinches right there. But opponent's going to go back out in the back's caliber. Come on, come on. It's your only Pokemon. I think they might have turned off their console. They're taking way too long to actually, like, pick the back's caliber. <laughs> Right? Baxcalibur is their final Pokemon. It's their only Pokemon they could choose. Unless he just, like, broke his controller and he's searching for another one. Trying to put the Joy-Cons on. <laughs> Something like that. But opponent's going to throw out Baxcalibur. I give him mad props for going into the uh, Snow Squad. They're definitely really hard to play up against. They're definitely really hard just to use in Series 3. Just, like, off meta teams. Why don't I keep clicking every move that's not Rock Slide? There we go. Rock Slide comes out here. That's going to be game. Just cancel battle. Just cancel the battle. Fiend's gonna take that dub, and more importantly, we're gonna take that winning record. Nice, lovely winning record for today's video. I still wish we would've won that first match, because I used Wochen really, really well in that first match. We were growthing it up, we were hitting hard, but then when Palf and Flutterman came out there, they were just outspeeding me, doing me dirty. Real dirty. No bueno. No good. But I don't understand why our opponent's taking 10 years to go, but they finally go. Rockside comes out here. Glaceon, get on out of here. You are gone. You're going right. And this Flare Blitz should KO. Back to you, right? Give me a sweep. We take the sweep. Let's go. 2 1 for today's video. Sweep in third final match. You guys love to see it. Before I finish off today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Ben for donating me some money over on my uh, donation link down in the description below. Someone also donated $5 unanimously. If that was you, huge shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. It really does go a long way. But like I said, if you guys want to donate and support me a little bit extra, there is a link down in the description below. I really appreciate you guys to everybody you donated. Again, Ben, huge shout out to you. I just saw the payment. You actually sent it a little bit ago and I haven't checked my PayPal email in a good bit. And uh, the unanimous $5 just came through pretty recently. So whoever sent that, huge shout out to you. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. We rocked out with Wu Chen today did really, really well and grabbed ourselves a winning record. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.